There we go, family. Parmesan, roasted potatoes. Easy, quick, tasty, delicious. Auntie P, restaurant I yard. What must say? Like it, taste it. Oh my God, look at that savory. Can you now? I know your mouth is watering. Can you taste it? I know you can taste it. Love you, boo-boo. Family, excitement, excitement, excitement. Nieces, nephew, what must say? Like, share, subscribe, Auntie P, restaurant, aya. I am today doing a simple little thing that's going to make your taste buds pop. So, in front of me, I have some potatoes. I have some just regular white potatoes, right? I'm going to bake them, but I'm going to make some garlic roasted Parmesan potatoes. Simple task. Six-year-old can manage this. So, we're going to sprinkle on some olive oil. So, I have washed my potatoes, cut them. I cut them in one-eighth pieces, which simply means, for my non-mathematicians, I cut one potato, cut it in a half, cut it in quarters, cut those quarters in one-eighth. So, you should get eight pieces to one potato, right? I'm going to sprinkle on some olive oil, just to get the olive oil all over this potato. Sprinkle it on. Nothing much because we don't want it super greasy, right? I'm gonna sprinkle on some minced onion, just a little. We, we're just adding some flavors, nothing more than some flavors. With that, we're then gonna drop a little seasoning, just a touch of all-purpose. And yes, I like my all-purpose, and the reason for that is all-purpose seasoning just speaks for what it says, all-purpose. It has just about everything in it. Salt, da 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 All the herbs you can think of, so they make it all purpose. We're gonna sprinkle on some salt, right? Just a little, nothing overbearing. We're still gonna watch our temperatures, which is the blood temperature. You know, we talk about um, the health factors. So we're gonna do that. And then I am gonna sprinkle on some minced garlic. You can use fresh garlic, you can mince it. You can have the minced already garlic if you want to, um, but I'm just gonna use the dry minced garlic, sprinkle it on there, and I'm gonna bake it. I'm gonna bake it at, 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 at 375 degrees. 20 minutes later, I'm gonna check and see, and then we go from there. Hope you're gonna like this. Antipi, restaurant, yeah, like, subscribe, share. So I got a nice mix that I like, the parsley and the garlic. So I'm gonna sprinkle on my garlic. This is where, this is where you get that nice coat of garlic. Look at that. It's almost edible without it being cooked already. Look at that. Perfect. Perfecto. Perfecto. We are gonna do this, people. We're gonna let this bad boy make it nice and evenly spaced out so that we're baking through. They're not overlapping, so some are baked and some are not. And the oil is gonna help with some of that moisture. We're gonna look for a tender on the inside and a nice somewhat crispy on the outside. Okay. Here we are. So after my potatoes are in for about 30, 40 minutes at 400 degrees, as I said, I want my outside to be crispy and my inside nice and soft. Look at that. Mm. Now, this is when you now topped on the Parmesan cheese. You can use the Parmesan cheese powder stuff. You're not going to stand there and grate the cheese. And you're going to find that your potatoes now taste like cheesy potatoes. Right? And as I said, nice and crisp on the outside, but nice and soft on the outside. There we go, family. Parmesan roasted potatoes. Easy, quick, tasty, delicious. Auntie P, restaurant I yard. What must say? Like it, taste it. Oh my God, look at that savory. Can you now, I know your mouth is watering. Can you taste it? I know you can taste it. Love you, boo-boo.